I have been late, you know. Really? Good Big for time. you. Big time. Big time, right? Um, I went on a date last week. How'd it go? It was good. You going out again? I don't know. Why not? I haven't called her. Christ, you're an amateur. I know what I'm doing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> don't worry about me. I know what I'm doing. Yeah, but this girl is like, you know, beautiful. She's smart. She's fun. It's different from most of the girls I've been with. So call her up, Romeo. Why? So I can realize she's not that smart, that she's fucking boring? You know, I mean, you don't... This girl's like fucking perfect right now. I don't want to ruin that. Maybe you're perfect right now. Maybe you don't want to ruin that. When he says, this girl is fucking perfect. Did you see the expression on his face? I noticed the one-sided smile. Yep, the one-sided smile. Yeah. But then there was an expression, a micro-expression of anger. Oh, okay. I was I was focused on his mouth at that point. I don't so want to. I, I don't want to ruin it. So there was is like very very quick. Mm. And you know Matt Damon is an amazing actor for this reason. I mean he's not he's not doing this um, purposefully. He's not flashing these like like he's not thinking about this, but he's doing it. So it's the anger um, towards the obstacle, which is um, he doesn't want to ruin her. Mm. And um, I think I think there's some anger there in in feeling like if he were to date her again in his mind, she would be boring and she wouldn't be exciting. But maybe underneath that, there's also like maybe he would be boring and not exciting. I think that's a super philosophy, Will. That way you can go through your entire life without ever having to really know anybody. My wife used to fart when she was nervous. She had all sorts of wonderful little idiosyncrasies. <laughs> you know, she used to fart in her sleep. <laughs> I'm sorry I shared that with you. And one night it was so loud it woke the dog up. <laughs> She woke up and got like, oh, is that you? See, I didn't have the heart to tell her. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> she woke herself up. Yes. <laughs> oh. So this is a good example of um, self-disclosure that actually forwards the therapy. Mm. Right. So what is Robin um, Williams doing? Why do you think he talks, mentions this? Um... Maybe to lighten up the room, maybe to give, you know, laughter and, and yeah. Yeah. I think, I think it's, um, because the, uh, Matt Damon has said he's not going to call her back because what if she's not perfect? Oh. So what is less than perfect is farting. Hmm. So he brings up something, self-disclosure, but it's, it's relevant to popping this sort of facade idealism of like the perfect other right hmm. oh christ <laughs> ah but will she's been dead two years and that's the shit i remember <laughs> it's wonderful stuff you know little things like that yeah but those are the things i miss the most the little idiosyncrasies that only i knew about that's what made her my wife so well, he's kind of flipping the script a little bit you see that mm -hmm. so the things that i remember are the imperfections yeah yeah, the things below the surface that only someone who truly knows you actually knows about. And it's, it's like, you know, I mean, if you, no one puts on their, um, you know, online dating profile, farts while they sleep <laughs> really nope. loud. No one puts that. Yep. Oh, and she had the goods on me, too. She knew all my little peccadillos. People call these things imperfections, but they're not. Oh, that's the good stuff. And then we get to choose who we let into our weird little worlds. You're not perfect, sport. And let me save you the suspense. This girl you met, she isn't perfect either. But the question is whether or not you're perfect for each other. That's the whole deal. That's what intimacy is all about. Oh! Robin Williams with, like, the hammer, you know? So it's like, so it's like once again, this is like an incredibly... Like it's, it's self-disclosure, but it's an incredibly empathic mm. way to, because it's empathy. 
because it cuts into his greatest fear with truth. You know, this, this kid doesn't know what love is. He doesn't know what intimacy is. He doesn't know how to accept someone with grace. He, he's, he's so focused on perfection. He's so focused on everyone not realizing how imperfect he is. You know, and so that's, that's what's going to keep him. It's what's going to keep him from, from intimacy. Now, you can know everything in the world, sport, but the only way you're finding out that one is by giving it a shot. You certainly won't learn from an old fucker like me. Even if I did know, I wouldn't tell a piss ant like you. <laughs> uh, why not? You told me every other fucking thing. <laughs> Jesus Christ. If I can talk more than any shrink I ever seen in my life. I teach this shit. I didn't say I know how to do it. <laughs> yeah. You ever think about getting remarried? My wife's dead. Hence the word remarried. She's dead. Yeah. Well, I think that's a super philosophy, Sean. I mean, that way you could actually go through the rest of your life without ever really knowing anybody. Time's up. I love how he reverses it on him. It shows that he's learning something. You know, you got to be proud of that kid. So, um, thoughts. You have any thoughts? I mean, just to me, that's such, I, I love this scene just because of, as you said before, the, the truth that Robin Williams brings about. Cause I think there's something and I want to say all of us, maybe not all of us, but I think in a lot of people, there is this fear of other people seeing our imperfections, other people seeing, you know, the things that we're not proud of that we wish we were better at, you know, maybe we wish we were smarter or better at communicating or better at empathy, you know, maybe we wish we were better. And, and sometimes we feel like we have to put up a wall or be something that we're really not in order to receive love. And that's just not, it's not the way it is. You know, as yeah. you said before, we're all on a unique path and journey. And the only way we're really going to have intimacy or empathy with someone else is by just being who we are. That's not to say that we don't have things we need to work on. Obviously, that's not to say that it's just let it all go. But at the same time, it's only when we accept the imperfection, see them for what they are, and then, you know, work on, work on those things that we really become yeah. intimate. Yeah, I was thinking about myself. I like operate in like this like zone of chaos mm. and it's the, like how I create, you know, where mm -hmm. it's got to be, it's, it's, everything is spontaneous. It's, planning things is super hard. Mm -hmm. Um, last minute things just come together in my mind, you know? And so a lot of people like have no idea how much chaos that is actually to operate in, mm. but it's like what works for my creativity. Um, and, uh, but yeah, there's all, you know, we all have these like imperfections, right? And, um, you know, we, I think, I think when you, when you enter into a relationship, like, like Robin Williams is describing, um, you like a deep friendship, like a marriage, you know, you really, you really learn how to accept the other person's, um, idiosyncrasies and, and not only accept it, but like treasure it. You know, and I think that's, I think that's the case, um, for Robin Williams towards, towards Matt Damon as well. I think he actually like really enjoys this like unique human being who's a little bristly, right? Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. <laughs> who cuts to the core, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. There's something, there's something you can appreciate about that. 